Question number five says a plank two centimeters thick and sixteen centimeters wide is firmly attached to the railing of a ship by clamps so that the rest of the board extends two meters horizontally over the sea below. A man of mass ninety kilograms is forced to stand on the very end. If the end of the board drops by five point three centimeters because of the man's weight, find the shear modulus of the wood. In the last question, we were looking at the the elasticity of length. So if something was really long and it got stretched out a little bit more, in this one we're looking at the elasticity of the of the shape. So in the last one, the shape would stay the same, but uh, the size would change. In this one, we're looking at something that if it's if it's long, what are the odds that it becomes this shape right here? How the the fact that it can bend, and so the uh, the equations are actually very similar. So over here we used something called Young's modulus, and we said that the force divided by the area, which is the same thing as stress, is equal to the Young's modulus divided by or times the strain, and the strain was the change in length divided by the original length. Uh, so for the this one is called the shear modulus. Over here is um, we have the force over the area which is the strain is equal to the the shear modulus times the change of x over the height and so we could think of of length and height being the same thing or not necessarily the same thing but they are analogous we could think of this shear modulus and the Young's modulus as being analogous and so here we're looking at how much longer it gets here we're looking at how much it bends and that's the only difference in this equation though we're wanting to figure out experimentally what the shear modulus is and so we just have to solve for it so the force uh, force over area equals the shear modulus times the change in x over the height and so we can just uh, multiply by the inverse and we get force over area times height over change of x equals the shear modulus and so we just have to put in our numbers so the force was equal to the mass times the gravity so 90 kilograms times 9.8 is is 882 newtons the height is uh, the height was said was two meters and by height it's saying the um, the distance uh, perpendicular to how it's bending so it's bending this way so the height is this length right here and so it's two meters and then the take that over the area which is uh, 0 0.00322 and that's meters squared and so that was that was because it was two centimeters so 0 0.02 uh, two centimeters thick by 16 centimeters uh, wide and so we get uh, meters squared right here and then we gotta multiply that by the change of x I'm gonna scribble this out so we don't get anything confused so we're multiplying that by the change of x which was 0 0.053 or 5.3 centimeters so that's in meters and since this is in meters, two meters, and this is in newtons, one of the we're going to have one of these meters canceling out, and our answer is going to be in newtons per square meter. And so S equals, um, we could say 103.36341, um, and that would be that would be 10,336,000 um, newtons per square meter or pascals. But the uh, I, I chose to write it in as 1.03 times 10 to the seventh, and that's one ugly looking seven. So there we go.